The latest on COVID-19, with the province reporting the highest single-day case count since the beginning of the pandemic. We're going to begin with more new cases in Hamilton and an update on an outbreak at a fitness studio. Dale Mnuchtuck is live in downtown Hamilton with more. Dale? Hamilton Public Health confirmed 11 positive COVID-19 cases with the Spinco outbreak on James Street North. It, that's 10 patrons and one staff member. And today in Hamilton's first media briefing for COVID-19 in many weeks, they also confirm that there are now people infected who didn't go to Spinco as a result of people who did. Hamilton's medical officer of health says people who contracted COVID-19 at Spinco are bringing it home. We have had three secondary cases that have occurred amongst household members um, related to this. Dr. Elizabeth Richardson says Spinco was following all of the public health guidance. And we're continuing to look at, you know, why did it happen in this circumstance, given that they were following the guidance that is there. According to Spinco's Instagram account, they appear to have been diligent. They did online classes when they were closed before reopening on July 25th and haven't had cases until now. Some of their protocols include mandatory masks when a rider isn't on a bike, there's a six foot radius between all riders. There are 30 minutes between every class to disinfect and staff screen customers upon entry. This afternoon, Spinco Hamilton posted answers to some frequently asked questions on Instagram. In response to how did this happen, they say a rider who thought they were not experiencing symptoms answers no to our screening and passes our temperature checks and rides a class. They've since deleted those posts. Dr. Richardson says that gyms are high risk activities for COVID-19 transmission, specifically ones that engage your respiratory system like spin class. She says above all, if you're sick, stay home. There have been people who have been going out and doing things when they are beginning to be symptomatic. Mayor Fred Eisenberger said that Thanksgiving should be limited to your own house and that Hamilton needs to get back to the preventative measures learned in the spring. We may over the summer have forgotten about this virus and uh, been a, a little bit relaxed about uh, the issue. Uh, the virus hasn't forgotten about us. And Dr. Richardson says that if you live alone, you can pair up with another house to celebrate. Now, some other notes from the briefing. Dr. Richardson says that the seven day rolling average of community cases is 14, and that represents the highest number ever for Hamilton during the pandemic. He, she also says that the 24 cases that were reported today is the highest single day jump since the first wave of the pandemic and finally that the positivity rate in the city is on the rise it's currently at 0.7 percent and they're going to be doing these briefings all the way up until Christmas every week and we're going to bring you all of those details back to you.